All right, this is Shree with a review of the Adidas Adifoam Clama Cool. If you are an old school Adidas fan in the early 2000s to the mid 2000s, Adidas had this uh, Clama Cool series where the, sil the silhouette would look very similar, very familiar to you because this is ex actually paying tribute to that original design. Um, but it's not as breathable as the original Climacools were. Climacools were all about having holes everywhere. You fear about getting your shoes wet when it rains, but a Climacool, you could wear it in the rain because after you get soaked, once you get to dry land, it'll dry up so quickly. Uh, this does not continue that tradition, although it looks like he has that. But yeah, it, it can provide uh, good ventilation if you separate the shoe from its inner booty, which is... Uh, which can be detached from it. First of all, this shoe for a size nine and a half, it weighs about 415 grams, but it's definitely lighter, or at least feels lighter than uh, heavy duty clunkers like the Fomposites. Um, it is a lot softer than these Fomposites, even though they have full length zoomer and an extra zoomer in the heel. This is way softer. This is probably one of the softest shoes you'll find. Uh, if you want just soft, comfort to walk around stand around in or even running around forward move my would say it's not a problem just not exactly great for side to side uh, stability uh, the cushioning is incredible the outsole is sort of like a crocs like material or the adidas easy runners though it's kind of you know foamy material foamy pu material and the inner booty is also can't come apart and this alone if you just wear this like a sock shoe or a surf shoe beach sandal kind of thing this foam is so soft i don't know what it is but i wish adidas would implement this foam in um in a variety of ways in performance shoes because a lot of basketball and running shoes they say they have uh the adiprin the boost bounce light strike but they don't they're not impressive they provide certain level of comfort, but you either, either feel inadequacy in the, either in the heel or the forefoot or somewhere. It's always never 100%. But this, um, this foam is incredible. I guess it feels somewhat comparable to cloud foam. So uh, you can wear this around indoors or sandy beaches or whatever, but, but it's not breathable. Again, it's not exactly breathable. It's soft and fluffy. It forms around, it forms around your foot nicely, but it's not you know, breathable like the original Climacools. It's all covered up. Um, another good thing about the shoe is that when you, a lot of Adidas shoes these days, when they, when they have these, you know, huge clunky design, they tend to have a one piece upper booty where you have to like really try and give it a C-section and try and squeeze your foot in. But this, they did the decency of having a separate tongue. This is little things that we appreciate these days in the 21st century um the foam itself it's so great and this little belly button uh, molds nicely into this little there's a little uh yeah little uh, docking area for it when it goes back in so if you want breathability and comfort you can just wear this alone uh, of course not for running around or things like that you can just wear this like a pair of crocs so i guess it's like two shoes in one uh, for walking around indoors and this is for, uh, you know, beaches or sweaty or wet days. Everything is breathable. So this shell lives up to the name of Clamacool. Um, at the same time, the foam is, is pretty nicely shaped around. It's not going to provide instability. Once you lace it up, you feel like there's a decent level of lockdown. I would say lockdown for just straightforward uh, jogging or strolling or walking but not for side to side six tech movements because you might feel a level of uh, instability uh, more stable than some casual shoes but not to the level of performance shoes so yeah the foam is incredibly soft even with just this shell alone and with this inner booty and this midsole together it's it's the most pillowy sense one of the most pillowy sensations you can get from um, whatever shoes that's out there for you uh the the foam the the shell it's it it's nice there's a as you can tell by the shape it's angular and curvy in the right places to provide good lockdown and to provide that smooth uh stepping transition um if you find some might find these little corners a little uh annoying then you can just cut them off scissor them off 
I shaved them off. It would not affect the shoe's performance in any way. Another great thing about this shoe is that most foam crux type of shoes, you do not have a separate outsole. But this, this whole entire outsole is a separate proper piece. And the traction pattern is pretty good. It's like spiky. Uh, it's exact, almost exactly like the original Climate Cool running shoe. So this is really uh, impressive. And um, this is something that ordinary Joes that appreciated the shoe from 20 years ago uh, gets to say thank you for bringing back good memories about Adidas. So yeah, this is uh, the price point. Uh, it's selling for around 80 70 dollars always on sale the black color is the least attractive for some reason here in korea people prefer i suppose something that pops like white or uh, cream but anyway it's still under 100 dollars for a shoe that's got so much going on uh, i wish adidas would use this foam technology for the midsoles uh, to come up with a better cushion basketball shoe in the future